a, a VR uh, version of Pearl, which is the eighth Spotlight story. It's the first version of uh, any Spotlight story that has been ported from mobile to VR. And we're excited about it because uh, we found that the extra three degrees of freedom actually help you feel even more immersed in the story. What's unique to me about it is the opportunity to uh, give technology to creative people to tell a story without any need for them to demonstrate any technology or show off any tool set, rather to challenge that the, that technology and those tool sets can be improved to be able to do what the creative people want to do. There are a lot of really amazing new technologies and techniques for realizing spherical sound in virtual reality, but the, the challenge is how to be tasteful about something you're just starting to learn about. Trying to uh, understand how to do this type of storytelling in, uh, in a 360 degree environment where the audience has control of the camera um, was a, a wonderful type of challenge. My biggest hope with making something like this is that it shows people that they can make things that don't necessarily go the way you typically think these kind of projects would go. You know, it's yeah. of a subject matter, it's a, it's a, it's a story driven uh, piece, it's about a family. Um, it takes place in the past, it's a period piece, but um, none of the easier VR obvious things uh, are happening. And I think that's, that's because I, I had the, the advantage of working with a group that was wide open to subject matter. We could do whatever we want as long as it felt from the heart and, um, and, and fun. You don't realize the advantage that moving a character off the screen and not seeing its feet is until you have to animate everything in every scene for a VR scene. If the amount of commitment and time and the, and the crew you're able to gather uh, is, is up to the task of making something that's um, creatively challenging and interesting, then I would definitely jump into that. I, the reason I jumped in in the first place is because I'd never done anything like this and experiences where you stretch yourself and try new things are always the most exciting. You never want to be doing the same thing over and over. I hope that it influences people to try telling stories in VR uh, in the future. I can only hope that, that people watch it, get inspired, and, and go in directions that we don't think VR can normally go.